Hi, this is a tutorial on repeating an action in Microsoft Word. Have you ever created a long document and had your supervisor bring it back asking you to make it pretty by adding some formatting, maybe some headings, some bolding, some underlining, some color? The repeat in action feature is a fantastic tool if you need to make the same edit to several items in a document. As always, there are many options to complete a task in Word, so pick the one that works best for the way that you create your documents. Your options for this feature are to use the quick keys to activate this feature. They are Control and Y, the F4 key. Now if the F4 key isn't working, then you need to press the unlock key on your keyboard. And that is the uh, F lock key. If you look at your keyboard on the right hand side above backspace, you'll see that key. So if your F keys are not working, it's probably because that key has been activated. Click on the repeat icon on the quick access toolbar is another option. And this feature automatically records the last formatting that you did. I prefer the control and Y keys only because I do not like to take my hands off the keyboard. Eventually you will memorize the quick keys you use often and it becomes automatic. Keep a list of the quick keys on your screen. So you can Google the quick keys for Microsoft Word and then you can keep a list on your screen and start using them and eventually you will become much faster at the regular tasks that you perform when editing. When working on rushes, time is not your friend, so quick keys are. I'll show you how to use each of these features. So we'll start with using the control and the Y keys to repeat an action. So let's say that um, here's my document and these are headings and these are going to be items underneath each heading. And I have been asked to make my headings stand out a little bit more, to bold and underline my dates, and to make the subject line red font. So I only have a few items here, but let's say that this was a 10-page document. It would take a lot longer if you had to use the keys. I'll just show you what I mean. Um, so if I wanted to change the color of this font, using the um, the keyboard the the options on here let's say that they wanted to have the color um, as blue and they wanted this to be a bigger font so I would have to do those steps to get that done so I'll just I'm just going to undo that um, a fast way to for headings is to use the styles feature on the home tab and you're going to see all these tabs up here these are like think of them like file folders if you click into each one you're going to see different options so the home tab has the styles on it and if I press the alt key um, I can start using quick keys and you can see the little tiles with the uh, letters in them here so H is for home and then L and then I use my key, the arrow keys on the keyboard and I slide over to heading one and there we go. So instead of going into each heading and having to create those uh, to, to make this a heading, I just use the styles there. Now once I've done it once, I can scoot on down here and use my control Y key and it changes it quickly. I do the same here, control Y, and you can see how quickly each one of those headings is changing now compared to how it was previously. So we'll just do all of them, control Y, and this one here, control Y. So you, you, you do have to do it once, and then after that you can go through your whole of your document and basically use your control shift key and your down arrow key to highlight right to that return and use your control Y key and it will repeat the action. So that's using control and Y. Let's use the other feature. Okay, so uh, my supervisor wanted these to be bolded and underlined. So I do that once, bold and underline. 
Then I highlight my text and then I use the F4 key and you'll see that it only does the underline so I would have to use my control V which are the quick keys for bolding. So sometimes if you have two actions you're going to have to decide um, which one is quicker and use your key quick keys to do that as well. So I would go to each one of my um, items. Now you'll see I did control V last time so my F4 key is going to bold and um, and uh, then I'm going to have to use my control U and the next time it's going to remember of course the control U because that's the last thing I did and I'll have to do the control B. I hope this is making sense or I could just um, uh, use okay let's see here I'm just going to so I do control V control U I come down and I'm going to use my control Y keys again and you'll see it works the same way except that I can keep my hands on the keyboard and if you're doing a long document and using your arrow keys you'll see that it does work a lot faster than going the long way okay so I hope that this is making sense now um, the next option that we spoke of was um, the quick access toolbar up here um, yours may be up at the top here. Um, if you click on this, you can show it above or below the ribbon and it will of course be the opposite of what where you have it. And you can add things to the quick access toolbar. I have a tutorial on my channel on how to do that. And if you look up in the right hand corner, you'll see an, a little eye with a link if you press on it to that tutorial on what to, how, what to add to your quick access toolbar. So um, let's use, this is the repeat icon here, and it actually records, as I said earlier, the last things that you did. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the um, subject line so that the font color is red. So let's uh, do it the long way first. And we're just going to, and you have to use your keyboards. You can't use the mouse when you're doing this feature. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to use my Alt key and see the tile that's on the icon over here. It's three. I just need to press the three. And there we go. It is now red. So. I hope that that makes sense, uh, the different options that you can use. If you try it out, it's going to be a lot faster than what me talking through this tutorial, but you can make your life a lot easier instead of going the long way to do some formatting. You can repeat an action several ways. Okay, so I hope you have a great day and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. There should be a little icon in the bottom right hand corner and have a great day.